Victor Garcia here with uh, Dimitris Andrade. Andre. Andre. Sorry about that. Andre. Andre. So, man. Mexican Andre. I'm Mexican fans, but. All right, just a little used to it. Hey, so, um, so, man, tell me about what you thought about the fight today. Um, I mean, it's boxing, man. You know, it goes both ways. But um, you talk about the Hopkins fight to yeah. South or the, 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 the Hopkins, the Hopkins fight. Yeah, I mean, like I said, man. Um, he did it because he wanted to do it, man. Win lose a draw, that's what he wanted. You know, whichever the outcome was, it was. And the man's hand upstairs. When I trained and yeah, did everything he can, but um, I guess when you're that age, uh, sooner or later, it definitely catches up to you. But what he what he shows is that yo, if you take care of yourself, stay active as far as in the gym and eat clean and do all the right things, man, you can still be in great shape to hang with. Maybe not for 12 rounds, yeah. but you can hang with them. And you never know if you can get the knockout. Man, 51, I don't know how, what the power is like. I'm not that age, man. Yeah. Now he's really serious about eating clean. Man, I remember for the Canelo Cotto fight, he was like, "Man, you should be drinking that soda. You should be eating that." I mean, yeah. he's like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely, but you, you, you know, you also gotta be human too. You yeah. know, but yeah, um, definitely, he's one of them special guys. You know, talk to talk, walk to walk. You know, it's on him. Now, a little bit about what happened last week with with Jamal Charlo. Yeah. Want to talk to me about that a little bit? Just you know, trying to. Make boxing exciting and call out who they you know see as one of the best coming. Um, I don't, I don't, one of the best fighters at 154 pounds, you know. And I feel like I'm the best, so therefore, you're in my limelight, you're in my way. And if you're the best, then you need to fight Demetrius Andrew. That's it. And if you can beat me, you easily have fought me already and moved on and went on. And I wouldn't be here saying I'm the best anymore. Now, between those two, two twin brothers, you had the option to pick right now. Which one of those two will you take? No matter. No matter? No matter. Either one. Either one's still, you know, a good, entertaining fight because, you know, what I'm doing, who I am, and what I bring to the table, and plus what they do is going to be good for boxing. So it don't matter. It is, once I beat one, they're like, oh, God. I'm in I got you, brother. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Whoop his ass, and then they won't find the war. Like they already did. They already ran the war. I was like, I want to fight Demetrius. Like, bro. Nobody want to see Lord. That's the problem. He's not entertaining. Yes, he was. He was. He, he was doing pretty good. You know, during his time. But I was making my time up. And. Now it's like you mentioned Lawrence's name to the network. It's like no, really. Like he's all oh, he does is circles, and now he's trying to fight Lawrence from it. Like who's paying for that? You took, up, you took care of Willie Nelson, man. You already proved it. So yeah, you know what I'm saying I came back off a year and a half, two year layoff for the top ten guy. I wish that guy could give everybody I just named problems. You know. Like, my first title defense wasn't against um, K9 Dog. My first was against I was against Vanas Marvos, who was 33 you know, with 20 something knockouts. Yeah, that's right. It's a big difference between K9 and Vanas Big difference. I didn't fight. Um, Julian Jackson, who's been, you know, put down a few times to have losses. I fought Ronis Mata Rosen for my first world title. So, you do the best. Right. All right, Demetrius. Well, thank you, man. Yeah. Take care. Cool. Thank you.